Doesn't seem to be many people here. Check out that sign right there. Yeah, 20 for a buck. Five cents a piece. Yeah, you know, back, you know, like back. I knew where he went because I went with him. And then he would get four or five more bridges. Another two we going to go after, for God's sakes. So he was... Oh, is that number 10? I bet you were. I bet you were. We need a bat, man. We need a bat. Real bad. Yeah, I know. Real bad. They were... If they didn't have a couple bad stretches, they would have contended for the wild card. Yeah. Two bad stretches. It was called uh, June and July. <laughs> <laughs> Scared anybody. Yeah, I know. They did better than I thought, though. Sure, sure. I thought after they traded that away Cole and McCutcheon, I thought they were going to lose 90 games. I had no problem with either of those moves. I really didn't. McCutcheon was overpaid. Right, and he wasn't really the and same he, guy. He, he, I don't know what happened, but it, it, his switch just went off pretty fast. Yeah. And Cole, you know, there was no damn way he was ever going to sign with us, ever. Not with his agent. Lord knows where he, he's not going to be with the Astros next year either. He won. Yeah. But... What what pisses me off isn't that they, isn't that they traded those two guys. I'm I'm even happy with both the trades, but then they did nothing with the money. Uh, I'm on row B, one twenty. I was right where old man Phil Coin was, right right behind. Okay, me. you don't want to do it, Tom? Yeah, Lou. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of near there. I'm in 130. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, you're undercover? No, I'm in row A. Yeah, yeah. I see. I'm not undercover either. That's right. I'm not... I wanted to ask, how much is this box of uh, 2016? Uh, 19 bucks. 19 bucks? Yeah. You know what you got there? Yeah, I have... the math. Whatever. I've got... Whatever um. Yeah, there's 12 of these that are 10 for 10, yeah. so maybe like 12 bucks there. And then there's 70 here, so that's like 350 because okay. they're 20 for. I'm just saying, this will get you. Okay. This will get you out of here and we're not getting nice. that up and stuff. Would you do two of these boxes and then these uh, for 50? So what do we got there? Uh, there's like, there's 
12. If we were like, tw uh, we were at like, like 15. Or yeah. something like that. 15. So, so we're at like 55. So that makes what? 2020. So 15, so that's like 35. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Got a nice little section here. Yeah, I used to... I'll tell my friends to come check you I out. I used to have tons and tons. This is the least you'll ever see me ever, ever, ever have. I, uh... My, all, 90 percent of my business is done by nine in the morning. Really? The guys are waiting here for me at seven o'clock in the wow. morning because they know the good shit's gone real fast. I have to get here earlier next time. I'm, it's like yeah. a two-hour drive from for me because I live an hour east of Pittsburgh, out towards Latrobe where yeah. the Steelers uh, yeah. train. Oh yeah. So. I uh, I'm on now. I'm only here the first and third Sundays of the month now. First and third Sundays. I've been doing for 28 years. I had a lot of. You know, 60s and there's there's stuff scattered through here. It's just okay. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's cool. All kind of goodies I don't buy. How much are your wax boxes? Eight dollars a box. Eight each. Eight. Eight dollars a box. Yeah. Some a little bit bigger than other Yeah. Just one. Yeah. How long are you a good choice? Twenty-five cents each. I was waiting for the rest yeah. of the sentence. <laughs> hockey, hockey, basketball, football, football. A box is ten dollars a box. Ten a box? Yeah. Five cents. I'm mostly only a baseball collector. So baseball down here. A few boxes of baseball. Ninety two pinnacle. I got a lot of different boxes of baseball. I just put two out that makes it easier yeah. for people. So let's see what year these are. Cause I have a bunch from the nineties already. Yeah, a lot of them from the nineties. Yeah. Uh, some in the eighties and some in the nineties. Is it okay if I look back there? What you got? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. It's a pretty country. <laughs> as far as I know it'll be yeah. Right. They tell me I am not in my own spot and I have to get after them. Yeah. <laughs> these are factory sets here. Little these sets here. Semi sets, I call them. Yeah, these rookie, like little mini yeah. sets. Yeah. 89, 15. Let's see if there's any I don't have yet. Just trying to see if, uh, I need any of these yet. Yeah, they're ten dollars a set. Ten dollars a set. Yeah. You got some baseballs. Any autograph baseballs? No. No. I just sell them like two bucks. Okay. They're a new ones. Somebody said, "What good are they?" Oh, you pay five bucks for a bat. You hit, throw it up in the air, and hit yeah. it. Yeah. Then, then you gotta go over there and get it. And do the same right. Thing I used to do that. Yeah, last summer I was walking around full season. The guy had those things for twenty-five bucks a box. Yeah, that's expensive. I said, "What the hell are they so expensive for?" He said, "You can't find them anywhere but my table." Well, they they can, yeah, they can, you can go on the internet there and find them. That's the thing nowadays. Um, uh, would you do maybe like uh, eight of these boxes for forty-five? Oh, I got eight dollars a box. This was kind of a weird moment. He had me blocked in. There was no way I was paying eight dollars a box for these things that I could get for five on eBay. That's like nineteen dollars off. I might do fifteen for two. Would that be? Hey Lou, fifteen for two. Yeah. Fifteen for two. So that'd be 64. Eight of them. 
So he came down four dollars. I just wanted to walk away, but I couldn't because he's like standing right next to me. What about fifty for eight of them? Mm. I can't do that. No. Okay. At this point, I would have just walked away, but I couldn't because I was blocked. Hmm. Like I was saying, I was full season. A guy had 25 bucks yeah. on boxes just like this, you know. Alright. Tell me, ooh, they're expensive. Yeah. Thank you, then. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, is that that card you got? I'm going to check in on these boxes too. How much uh, are these? Ah, my secret code's back there. That's how I know it. Uh -huh. uh, this one is 47. 47? And this is three autos and two. Okay. And this, this one? This is cheap. Huh? 38. Okay. 47 and 38. 38. Yeah, things on eBay I don't have out here and vice versa, but right. it's... Uh, I mean, there's tons of stuff there. Yeah. I mean, each one of these IDs has, you know, 10, 15, 30,000 feedback. Right. And, uh, but also, too, like you said, the shipping. Yeah, sh shipping and even, adds up. And also, considering if you're going to come out here and pay the cash, you know, as opposed to using PayPal, like on eBay, it's another 3%, too. Right. I'll pass that all on. Or is that right? I don't know why. I think I'll take it for 35. You know, it's just fun to open. Hi, is this rack yours? I was gonna get this one. Uh, dollar? Dollar. Okay. There you go. Do you want back? Nah, I'm about ready to leave anyway. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. This place was great for baseball cards. Really good. Hey everybody, I'm back from the flea market. I just wanted to show you what I picked up real quick at that Michelangelo's flea market. It was actually really awesome. I wasn't expecting it to have that many baseball card things there. They had a baseball card supplier there with boxes, uh, sleeves, top loaders. Um, they had a guy selling a bunch of boxes, which I bought a, a lot of his stuff. And he said he usually has way more. He had a five cent box, which I pulled a lot of stuff out of. A one dollar relic box. And then there was that old guy that was selling a bunch of cards from the 90s and some older wax. Um, I didn't. I don't think I spent any money at him. But if you go back, you might want to check all three of these guys out. So I'm going to show you what I bought real quick. Um, starting off with these boxes, I bought two of them. One of these I'll probably put in the monthly giveaway. Um, I'll probably just keep adding prizes to the monthly giveaway so whoever ends up winning it can have a nice wide variety of choices to choose from. And this has an autographed card in it. 
Um, I will probably do one of these. I'll, I'll break it on my channel at some point and open up all the packs. The other one I'll give away. And then there's this 2008 Bowman Chrome. Uh, you can see it also has an autograph card in it. So I'll break that at some point for you guys. And now I'm going to show you all the cards that I got. I guess we'll start out with, um, let's do these five cent cards. Yeah, 20 cards for a dollar. That was a, a killer deal, especially because he had a lot of stars and good players in there. Let's just go through them real quick. I'll just uh, kind of thumb through them. Tony Perez is a Hall of Famer. Mike Stanton, that's almost his rookie card. Uh, you can see on the back, his rookie card is actually, I believe, 2010 tops. But, I mean, he's called Mike Stanton, so that is definitely an early card of his. Uh, he changed his name to John Carlos Stanton a few years ago, if you didn't know that. Here's some other Hall of Famers from 2016 Don Ross. Uh, Clayton Kershaw is always a good one. Buster Posey, some people like him. And then we have some more Hall of Famers. These are some um, cards from 2016 Don Ross also. Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, Giancarlo, Pujols, Bryce Harper. I mean, getting Bryce Harper for five cents, you can't pass that up. Now, there's an Ichiro, Clayton Kershaw for five cents. I mean, come on, that's crazy. Lots of good cards. Kyle Schwarber, uh, Trey Turner, Cano, another Goldschmidt. Lots of these cards. I, just, I was surprised they were in the five cent box. Bernie Williams, rookie card. There's a nice David Ortiz. I picked up this Bucky Dent from 1978. Um, there's Roger Clemens, Ricky Henderson. They had some older cards in there, too, from like the 90s, 80s, some 70s cards. There's a nice early Vladdy. Uh, Adrian Beltre. Um, this is his 1998 Bowman. Ricky Henderson, I like that card. Nomar, you might remember him. Scott Rowland. There's a couple, A-Rod a and uh, Jeter. Andy Van Slyke, my favorite player growing up. There's a Griffey. Rusny Castillo is not really around anymore, but it was rookie cards. So I picked it up. Uh, Josh Hamilton, George Springer, Nolan Arnauto. I really like this one. This was a good find. This is an 80 man. It's like 1984. This is his rookie card, and I don't have this one. So for five cents, you know I was buying that. What else do we have here? Some Diamond Kings were nice for five cents. I picked up another Josh Hamilton. I'll probably send that away. Michael Fulmer rookie card for five cents. I mean, come on. You know I'm going to get that. And then we have some other decent young prospects. And that was everything out of the five cent box at that guy's table that I grabbed. I also picked up a bunch of relics and autographs. There was way more relics than there were autographs. Uh, but I'll show you real quick what I pulled out of there. I got 12 of these. And I picked guys that were uh, really good or had great careers like Tim Hudson. Um, you might remember him. He retired a couple years ago, but he was still had an outstanding career. Luis Gonzalez had the game-winning hit in 2001 off Mariano Rivera. That's his game-used jersey. And then a K-Rod, uh, Francisco Rodriguez, all-time single-season saves record. Mike Napoli. Um, how about this one? Todd Helton. He'll probably end up in the Hall of Fame if the voters don't hold uh, the fact that he played at Coors Field against him. That's his bat. Uh, Eric Chavez, rumored to be the next manager of the Angels. His jersey. Johan Santana. Would have been in the Hall of Fame if he didn't blow out his arm. So a nice Santana um, jersey. Adrian Beltre, definite Hall of Famer. That's his jersey from when he was with the Mariners. Uh, Rowanis Elias, he still plays. He pitches for the um, Mariners after pitching a couple years for the Red Sox. It's his rookie card, and it's autographed. Couldn't pass that up for a buck. Adam Lind had a nice career. Um, I don't know if he still is around or not. I think he played a little bit this year. Um, maybe I think most recently with the Yankees. Maybe he'll catch on next year. I don't know if he's officially retired or not. Michael Young was a perennial all-star. That's his jersey. And then I picked up a Tommy Hunter autograph card. Tommy Hunter, of course, plays for the Phillies and was a staple in their bullpen this year. So all this stuff, um, really cheap. Dollar a piece for the autographs and the relics. These were five cents each. Uh, he wanted 20 for these boxes and I think 35 for this. I talked him down a little bit, uh, you saw in the video. So that place was awesome. I hope you get a chance to go check it out. You might as well just uh, double it up and do Four Seasons and Michelangelo's at the same time because they're literally like five minutes apart from each other. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you later. Just as a reminder, I have this on um, double playback right now to keep the video a little shorter for you. I'm giving away this box of 2015 Donruss. Also, I'm giving away a brand new $125 Jacob deGrom jersey, which you'll see in a second, and a 2018 top set. Uh, to be eligible to win this stuff, all you have to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and comment. Every time you comment on any of my videos from this month, that is an entry. Uh, I'm going to draw a finalist, a winner from each video, and I'll put all those people into a uh, raffle, and one of you will get your choice of one of these prizes. Thank you for watching, everybody.